what can I say? Uh, the rock hounding community here on YouTube, some of the nicest, most genuine people I've, I've came across, you know? Um, somebody decided to send me a package. Pretty sure it's rocks. <laughs> um, you know, I just... I'm continuously uh, surprised. You know, you look out at the majority of society and humanity and based on what the media would tell you, everything is the worst and basically everyone is the worst. Yet here in rock hounding world, everybody seems like they're the best. So um, I don't know if this person wants me to mention them, but, uh, you know, James, uh, I appreciate it. I don't even know what you sent yet, but I'm sure it's awesome. It feels awesome i hope hopefully you didn't go over too overboard also i'll be using this you know back uh in yesteryear before uh i was into rocks i made knives this is one that i made myself also made the sheath for um nice dovetailing on the handle so uh yeah let's uh tear right into this and see what what was sent I got a lot of reading material. What? Okay, I got to my 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 benches are filling up with stuff. I need a I need a bigger shop, I guess. So let's see what we have here. We have garnet chest. So oh yeah, you can see the little garnets in there. That's so cool. I'm going to be putting photos up of all of this. What? We have garnets here. I've actually never came across any garnets yet. Um, well, I guess I, I need to, I need to, I want to. That is so awesome. Oh, and he knows, he knows what's up. I like the thunder eggs. There's a bunch of thunder eggs in here. Oh my God. There's so much stuff that I'm gonna have to cut. Look at all of these eggs. James, you're killing me here, buddy. Like, what am I, uh, I'm gonna have that saw running. Oh man, do you see that? That's a double, that's a double thunder egg. I should just have a, a double and triple thunder egg collection and uh, give all the other ones away. Not really, I'm just saying, um, they're, they're amazing. They are amazing. Okay, what's this here? Is a uh, Mexican coconut geode. It's it's lightweight for for it, so I guess it is an actual geode and not a thunder egg. You know, I I interchange those words too. I mean, I know kind of chat chatted about it before, where um, thunder eggs can be geodes, but geodes can't be thunder eggs. Um, oh man, Kyoto geodes. Look at, oh, this one's cut. Oh, he cut these. Look at that. That's like the most adorable little thunder egg. Geode. That is, I love the little ones. They're like so freaking adorable. Same with this one here. I have to put all this stuff back in the bag nicely or uh, I'll never... Never uh, <laughs> be able to put the labels back with it. Okay. Oh man. What is this? This is... Calcine from the grasslands? Oh, look at that. Wild. It's like a, it formed in a seam, but it's very, um, I don't know. I don't know what type of rock that formed in or formed between, but it definitely has a different texture than the stuff that you see out here, which that's cool. I love seeing different things, you know. Uh-oh, I see some rubber bands on this one. We got we got a look, right? That's a that's a necessity here.
What? Oh, man. That... I don't know. That's so cool. So that one, um, you know, this is cracked and not um, cut. I wonder if a cracker was used. So, like, there's these uh, geode cracking... I don't know what you call them, devices, where you wrap a chain, like, it's like a large chain around your geode and you tighten and tighten and tighten it, and it's got uh, points on all of the links and it snaps it like perfectly in half. I know that that's a, a thing that exists. Um, I guess, <sighs> geode from Fruita, Colorado. Look at that, the texture on these is so different. I'm gonna, I'm a little taken back. This is a little much, you know, like I, I, lo I love the, love the rocks, but I worry that I'm, you know, people send, send stuff that maybe they, sh they shouldn't, that they should keep for themselves and have those memories of collecting that material. Um, what? Septarian nodule from Iowa? I, I have never heard of nodules coming from Iowa, but that's crazy. I'm going to have to polish that up, man. And uh, I have something coming next week that will help me polish this up. And I think this will make it in there. That's so cool. So cool. All right, we got another one here, another geode. I think that tag went with that. There's some little baggies here. I believe those are garnets. I'm gonna do those last. I gotta get something to put them in. The pearlite with Apache Tears from Colorado. Wow. Man, that is oh. <laughs> the box it keeps on giving. Another geode, geode question mark. Okay, I gotta cut something with a question mark in it. That's a, that's a given. There's gonna be a cutting video coming where all I do is probably cut stuff because I got so much on uh, on deck to cut now. I'm curious what all of these geodes are here that are geodes and thunder eggs. Um, I don't think there's a label with those. Or maybe it just got wrapped up in some of the newspaper. Um, here's another geode. This one's got some interesting crystallization happening on the inside. I can feel a big half in here, you see that? What? Dude. Look at that Petroidal geode. Oh, I think it got a little cracked in shipping. But that's amazing. Are you, are, are, all, are all of these coming from Iowa? I'm, you know, forgive me here. I'm not really up on my uh, geology from Iowa. Is this a thing that happened, that comes from out there? Like, this is... Oh, they got a broken one here. Broken geode, geode down. Still amazing, like <sighs> crazy, 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 man. Okay, so this is a more nodule. Yeah, subterranean nodule from Iowa. So yeah, that one cracked too in shipping, but still, like, so he, that, that sliced there, that's so awesome. So awesome, man. What? 
of what? We have some Muscovite books or, or Mica books here. Um, what is this material in? Yeah, Mica quartz, field spark clusters, tin mountain mine. Dude. I mean, what, what can I say? Is there even anything that I could say that would be able to um, express enough gratitude for things like this? I mean, I the chances of me going out to Iowa or uh, South Dakota and getting material like this is it's, it's basically zero. Um, so it's very cool to have things like this sent to me. I'm just uh, taken back. Taken back is all. Um, what else can I say? You know, um, thank you. And, uh, you know, I'll catch you on the Saturday night special, which is coming up <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> um, yeah. Have a good day, everybody. And, uh, you know, there's still good people out there. There's still people that are willing to, uh, do really kind things for others that aren't, uh, you know what I mean? He doesn't know me. Uh, I don't really know him. Um, and, uh, wow. Anyways, I hope you have a great day. Take care.